Hi, I'm Chaz Van, and today I'd like to talk to you about great ways to get a consistent, good espresso pull every time, and show you my tool set that I use to get that done. Here's my coffee corner, and here's my tool set. Scale for measuring, coffee grinds, weight, good quality beans, flat burr grinder, a timer for timing the grind, a tamping stand, distribution tool, tamper, a pitcher for pulling the espresso into, that could be also a shock cup. Um, I use a pitcher for water and of course an espresso machine. Okay, so let's uh, get started in making a consistent cup of espresso. So first, let's talk about uh, the bean. Uh, I like uh, an Italian style espresso bean. Um, good, fr uh, get fresh. If you can get fresh beans, that makes a big difference. I get mine from a local roaster, uh, so I know it's fresh often. Um, sometimes you're getting at the store, you can check the bag, or sometimes there'll be a date on the bag, so it might be a week old, or, so again, you can get it fresh, perfect. Um, next, um, try and pick a bean that you want to stick with, that you're going to use over and over again, because you don't want to be uh, changing the grind setting all the time. Try and get it close. You will always have to sometimes adjust this, um, sometimes even just the weather gets really, really dry, the beans get a bit dry, and you'll find that it changes the pull. So those things uh, affect the pull as well. So try, uh, try to stick with the same bean. Another really important factor is the uh, grinder. It's kind of the, one of the most important parts to getting a good cup. Um, often overlooked, this is a flat burr, grinder with a micro adjustment. Um, it doesn't have a timer on it. I use this timer here as a manual timer to get, again, to get consistency. This really helps with getting good consistency. Um, so next, uh, I would do when I'm doing my pole is I would take up my portafilter. This is a double basket portafilter. This portafilter is a 16 to 18 gram portafilter. So I'm gonna put on the scale and I'm gonna zero it out. So it's at zero. Now I'm gonna start my timer, start the grind. It's gonna beep at around 17 seconds in my case to get 18 grams in here. So I'm gonna start the, start the timer, start the grind. So I'm just going to take a little bit out. There we go. That's like 18 grams there. So a little tamp. Just a little, this is a light one. Distribution tool. Put that on. Give it a light little spin. That just kind of evens things out a little bit. Tamp here. Again, you want about 30 pounds of pressure. But if you have a good grind, you know, that's a little bit, you can not be too worried about that being exact. Next, we're gonna look for um, about 25 second pull is a good starting point from the time that you get your first drop. So on my timer here, this is my timer, it's gonna switch the timing once I start the pull. I'm probably gonna be at around 30 to 32 um, seconds. And that's gonna give me about 36 to 40 grams of espresso, espresso in, this picture. This could also be a shot glass. Some people really like that look of the espresso going into it. So here we go. So I hit three, four, there, around five seconds. We got the first coming through. Now, this, this, the bonus port filters are great because they show you whether you got a problem with your pole. So now there's no channeling. I'm getting just one nice stream of coffee. 
going into the pitcher. 26, 28, 29, 30, there. And the reason I like to use this too is it's nice visual to how, my, how the pull is going. Is the pull too fast? Is it too slow? And then I can make some adjustments either on, on the amount that's in the basket, changing the grind to a finer, coarser grind, but we'll talk about that in future videos. So next, I would like to use something like this. It doesn't have to be a pitcher, but something I can measure the water content with. So it doesn't matter if I'm using this cup or this cup, I'm gonna get the same ratio of water to the espresso each time. So again, consistency to getting a good cup, good, getting a good Americano. We're making an Americano in this case, so this is a good way to ensure that happens. So, if you're using a kettle, same thing. There we go. So water. And pour that in. And there we go. Nice caramel on top. Nice, consistent Americano every time. And there we go. Um, coffee's ready. I'm going to drink it now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe while you're drinking your cup of coffee. Thanks for watching.